Hey guys, so I've been getting a burning oil smell whenever I come to a stop with my 2004 Saab 93. And I had a similar problem with a Ford Taurus that I had. And it's a result of oil leaking from somewhere on the engine and getting onto the exhaust. For this car, the oil pan gasket is um, does leak sometimes, and it is very difficult to replace. Um, you do have to re remove part of the exhaust, and I'm not going to pay someone to do this on, on this car because of the age and how much it's really worth. It could be worth it to some people, but not to me. So what I did was I wanted to share the process. Um, I use brake cleaner to degrease the areas where the where you can see the red line where the um, oil pan gasket mates against the bottom of the engine and against the transmission and then I use a wire brush wheel to um, clean as much as I could as far as debris and then I cleaned it again with a degreaser um, to um, to get as much as I could off. Um, when you replace a gasket, of course, you're supposed to take the two halves apart and put the gasket between and then sandwich it. So this is, you know, maybe a temporary fix, but it is working pretty well so far. I haven't had that burning oil smell. Um, I believe most of it was coming from this oil level sensor. Um, when your oil gets really low, this sensor right here where it's plugged into the bottom of the pan will tell you that, but it does leak after a while. That is also another part that's really hard to replace. Um, because you have to take the oil pan out again. <laughs> so, I cleaned the surfaces as much as I could, and I applied RTV sealant, um, I believe it's made by Permatex, and let it sit for at least a day. It's about 50 degrees here. So I wanted to make sure it had time to cure, but it's working pretty well. Um, I don't expect it to be completely, you know, completely uh, airtight, whatever, but it has kept it down, uh, the leakage, pretty well. The other thing I did was right up in here, um, the timing cover, the timing chain cover also leaks on this car. And I did the exact same thing. I cleaned the two surfaces as best as I could, and then I applied the RTV sealant. Um, you can pay someone to do this kind of work, but, you know, it may not be worth it to you. And, um, you know, if it's an older car, then you may not want to do that. So, just wanted to share that with you guys. That's what I did, and it's, you know, made things a lot better. I don't know how much longer it'll work, but, you know, I've got a temporary break here from the, the oil smell now. When I come to a stop, there's no smell. So that's nice. Hope this helps you guys out.